Welcome back to the solutions manual. In this video, we will solve the problem 3-3 from RC Hibeller Engineering Statics 12th edition. According to this problem, if the mass of the girder is 3 megagrams and its center of mass is located at point G, remind the tension developed in cables AB, BC and BD for equilibrium. So to solve this problem, first of all we have to draw a free body diagram of point B. We have free body diagram of point B. So I have one vertical force acting upwards. This is the force FAB. And I have two inclined forces at a certain angle. So I have one force at an angle of 30 degrees with the vertical and another one at an angle of 45 degrees with the vertical. This angle is 30 degrees and this angle is 45 degrees. This is force FPD and this one is force FPC. Now I have two components for the forces FPD and FPC. So I have one horizontal component and one vertical component. Also right here I have one horizontal component and one vertical component. Let's call this F B D cos 30 degrees. This right here is F B D sine 30 degrees. This is F B C sine 45 degrees. And this component is F B C cos 45 degrees. Now we have resolved all the forces into their components. Now we can apply the equations of the equilibrium for the point B. We have sum of the forces in x axis equal to 0. I am considering right hand side as positive. So we have FBD side 30 degrees minus FBC sine 45 degrees equal to 0. So FBD is e sine 30 degrees is equals to FBC sine 45 degrees. Now let's call this equation 1. Now I have one more equation. I have some of the forces in y direction equals to 0. I am considering up direction as positive. So I have FAB minus FBB cos 30 degrees minus FBC cos 45 degrees equals to 0. I can also write it as FAB equals to FBD cos 30 degrees plus FBC cos 45 degrees. Let's call this equation 2. Now, from these two equations, I have three unknowns 
and only two equations. So I need to work on one more equation. So if we consider this scatter, then if I draw it here, right here, then this scatter has a center of mass which is which is at point G. The weight is acting right here downwards. This is the weight of this girder. So if I draw two perpendicular axes right here. Then I have two forces. One is making an angle of 30 degrees with the vertical and another one is making an angle of 45 degrees with the vertical. Now, this is 30 degrees and this is 45 degrees. Now again I have two components, one the vertical component and this is the horizontal component and also for this force this is the horizontal component and uh, this is the vertical component let's label these two forces these forces are the same as FBD and FBC so this is FBD and this one right here is FBC angle right here is 45 let me write it properly okay. so if I apply the equation of the equilibrium in y axis then I have sum of the forces in y direction equals to 0 I am considering up direction as positive. So I have F B D cos 30 degrees plus F B C cos 45 degrees minus W equals to 0. So I can write it as W equals to F B D cos 30 degrees plus FPC cos 45 degrees. Let's call this equation 3. Now we can see one thing that from equation 2 and 3, the right hand side of both these two equations is same, which means from equation 2 and 3, the force FAB. It's just equal to the weight of this girder, which in turn is equal to its mass, which is 3 exponent 6 divided by 1 exponent 3 into 9.81. Here we had to convert the mass into kg. That's why I divided it into 1 exponent 3. From here, FAB is equals to W equals to 29430 Newton. So if I put it in equation 2, then equation 2 becomes Okay, this equation right here becomes 29430 equals to FPD cos 30 degrees plus FPC 
cos 45 degrees. This is the modified form of equation 2. Let's call this equation A. And I already have an equation 1, this equation. So we have FBD sine 30 degrees equals to FBC sine 45 degrees. This is equation 1. So from equation A and 1 Okay, let's say from equation 1 FBD is equals to root 2 FBC Let's call this equation B And if I put this into equation A then from equation A I have 29430 equals to root 2FBC cos 30 degrees plus FBC cos 45 degrees. So from here FBC is equals to 15234 newtons. Now put this value in equation B. So from equation B, F B D is equal to root 2 into 1, 5, 2, 3, 4. So this is so this is equals to 2, 1, 5, 4, 4, 0.26 newtons. So this is the final answer. So now this is it for this problem. I hope you will find this video helpful. If you do, please make sure to subscribe to this channel and also turn on the bell icon for the daily updates. And if you have any question about this problem, then you can ask it in the comment section and I will answer it as soon as possible. Thank you. And I already have uploaded some solutions of chapter 3 from the same book, so you can also check them out. The link of this playlist is in the description. Thank you.